AITA for saying my sa dad's fiance can't hold our baby. I, 29F, had my first baby three months ago. From literally the time my baby was born my so parents were non-stop visiting. I was in the hospital 48 hours due to C-section and had his divorced parents and their so visit. Multiple times each. My issue begin here with his father's so. We'll call her Jane. For context, Jane made no effort to reach out during the entire pregnancy and only ever texted me once the morning of the scheduled C-section. Immediately upon entering the hospital room Jane runs over to the bassinet and grabs my few hour old baby from it without asking or even washing her hands. I was beyond exhausted and out of it that at the time I didn't say anything. Which I regret. Fast forward the next six weeks. They constantly wanted to visit. When they did visit they wanted to sit there hold my baby and take photos. Jane would show up with gifts for the baby and my so and nothing for me. And never once offering to help with anything or bring by coffee or food. Nothing. I log on FB one morning after they had visited and Jane had posted photos of my baby blabbering on. About how, Nana loves her and proceeds to give an inaccurate birth date in the comments. I tell my partner that this bothered me as she did not ask permission to post photos of our baby online and I would like them removed. Jane makes a huge stink over the matter saying she's being targeted and everyone else can post. But her. I explain my stance and somehow it blew up into her feeling like she only has the title of a grandparent but can't do the duties of one because i wouldn't let her change my baby's diaper his father doesn't seem to get where i'm coming from either but my so told him that jane needs to apologize and understand that there's boundaries that need to be respected it has now been well over a month and the holidays have come and gone haven't heard a peep from them since until this week she passed along christmas gifts to my so there were five gifts. One made out to my so. One to our baby and the other three were made out to his sister and her BF. I immediately knew she did this so I would see that she gave everyone a gift except me as she had. Seen his sister the weekend before and could have given her the gifts and I know she has met the. Sister's BF twice. Yet he gets gifts but not the mother of the baby you love too much. I sat on it for a day and thought about it all and decided I have received nothing but disrespect from her from the beginning and that I was one saying she isn't welcome in our house again and two she isn't welcome to touch hold our baby AITA for saying she is no longer welcome at our home and she isn't welcome to hold our baby NTA yes 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 from the very first minute of your baby's life she's been unnecessary and inappropriate holding your daughter without washing her hands disgusting she's also made it clear that she's going to get worse the more time elapses and the more allowance you give her as they say with entitled people you give an inch they take a mile cut her off the more she complains the more valid you were in doing so there are plenty of stories here you can find in which the child were submissive and it ended up causing a world of pain. Just check up the Just No Mill subreddit for a million examples. NTA. You are the parent and you decide who you want and don't want around your child. Now my issue is with your man who I have not heard you once say stood up for you during this exclusion and mistreatment. I do wonder if the both of you were ever close before the pregnancy. No one should be unsanitary around a baby. Taking and posting photos without permission. And purposefully getting everyone gifts and excluding the mother. I would have had an issue with my man if I were you because hell no. Now I don't think giving rules really works in this situation because your partner never caught on. And stood up for you. I would also be petty and give her that same energy back. In this circumstance, my partner would be told that not only has your stepmom disrespected me in my presence multiple times through exclusion and boundary breaking, 
But you have followed suit by not catching on and standing up for me. Reiterate all of the examples listed in this post and ask him how he'd feel if your family treated him the way Jane treats you. For now baby and you need a break from her and you shouldn't be scared to cut her off and go full. No contact. Absolutely NTA. Everything you've been saying about how Jane has been treating you makes my skin crawl. Why some people think they can utterly disrespect the mother of a baby and then still get access to. That baby is insane to me. Has your partner been standing up for you against Jane? If he hasn't, he needs to start. You setting these new boundaries is the perfect opportunity it's his family so he needs to deal with them. Edit changed husband to partner. NTA gosh okay I can't say I have ever been here but my husband has. I myself told my family that if there was a gift for myself and not for my husband that they could keep the gift. This year I got a bank transfer of $50 and my mother went to the trouble of buying my husband PJS to use while he was in hospital. He def got the more thought out gift this year XD. NTA. But. Your partner needs to deal with his family. You deal with yours. I personally wouldn't announce the rules. Just every time they ask to come be too busy to have them visit. When it comes to a head your partner can say, oh. Sorry. It's just that Jane has made it really clear she isn't keen to see Coffee Queen so we're just. Respecting that. If Jane wants to start to recognize Coffee Queen and be a bit more warm. Then I will talk to Coffee Queen about it and see what we can arrange. I wouldn't just leave them with an auto-invite at a minimum. I assume rule 1 and 2 means you'll go visit them on occasion. And you won't pass over the baby. Be prepared for more childish stunts. She sounds delightful in a really manipulative, annoying way. NTA. If she doesn't respect you in your own house Shah has nothing to do there. And for your baby she doesn't respect you then she is not a good person to be around your baby. You are protecting your child from bad influence. The gifts are not relevant here. The major thing is she is seriously overstepping boundaries with someone who just had a baby. To pick up a newborn without consent. To post pictures online without consent? These are serious violations and these actions themselves requires a heartfelt apology and a promise to never be repeated. NTA she has showed complete disrespect to you personally. She is unrelated to your child and at most is a step-grandmother. Until she changes attitude then your rules apply. NTA posting pictures without permission is a huge no. No. Deliberately excluding from gifts is just petty. I wouldn't want the drama around with a newborn either. But your so needs to step up and deal with his family. NTA continue to protect your peace. NTA. I remember a school friend had her baby when she was quite young. When I visited her in hospital I took clothes for the newborn but I also took my friend's favorite lavender soaps and hand cream for herself. She started crying when she opened the gifts. I asked her why and she said, because everyone brought things for the baby but nothing for me. You're the only one who brought something for me. She wasn't being selfish or egocentric she just felt a little overlooked and unloved. Info. Where is your partner in all of this? Why are they so okay with you being disrespected over and over again? NTA for you but unless your partner is physically and vocally supporting you and the baby to their family they might be an AH. NTA. Also only psycho posts photos of other people's babies in this day and age. NTA. It's weird as hell she wants to be, Nana, while seemingly hating you. The mother of the baby that makes her a Nan. I also had to pause at her being upset she can't change the diapers. That's a really really odd thing to be upset about. 
Most people don't actually want to change baby diapers. You kinda just have to do it when they're yours or if you're watching a baby. That just gave me a weird feeling. IDK. But you're not the asshole at all here. I hope your husband stays strong in supporting you because Jane shouldn't be allowed to even see your baby without major behavioral changes and apologies. You can't outright disrespect a parent of a kid from the day they were born and still think everything's cool. Also your partner needs to make very very sure that everyone knows this is how he feels as well. Otherwise you will always be the villain and the scapegoat while he gets to keep his comfy spot in the middle, which is not fair to you at all. NTA. She only wanted to use your kid for photo ops. Got called out. Then sought to punish you in front of everyone for speaking up. NTA. NTA. She seems to determine to be an ass to you and make you feel like an incubator so how about letting your so continue to handle it as he has been? It's not really worth your time to put more energy into combating someone with an everlasting battery of pettiness. NTA. If she can't respect you or your boundaries then she doesn't get to play, Nana, full stop. There's nothing she can do about it either because she's not the baby's maternal grandmother. Let her continue with her stupid games. Just don't let her see it bothers you. NTA. She is overstepping and the way they constantly came to the hospital is insane. Why are not you so speaking up and setting some boundaries? This is something he should deal with and not you. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.